。从前有座山，山里头有座庙，庙里有个老和尚讲故事。他讲的是什么呢？功夫是个啥？传说有绝学，深山藏秘籍，密得于神兵，逍遥闯江湖，仗义行天下。The Shaolin Temple is sacred for both Buddhism and Kung Fu. It's been known and revered for its Kung Fu for centuries. This wall separates two worlds. These three generations of monks hold different dreams. The Shaolin Temple has experienced ups and downs in its long history. What unique and high-level skills do today's monks possess? The Shaolin Temple monks now demonstrate their legendary kung fu skills to the world. Cha Yanao gets up at 5 a.m. every morning and begins his day working to improve himself. Now in his 50s, he has mastered many of the high-level Kung Fu skills taught in Shaolin Temple. This ancient temple here is home to people with hidden talents. For more than 1,500 years, the Kung Fu of the Shaolin Temple has been legendary in China. The Shaolin Temple now attracts over 3 million visitors a year, many hoping to hone their Kung Fu skills. Unfortunately, the legendary monks of old are nowhere to be seen. The real Shaolin Temple only emerges when the crowds all leave and the gate is closed. Yi Jin Jing is an excellent way of strengthening muscle and bone that has been passed down for thousands of years. It is Sha Yan Ao's task to teach it to the young monks. Yi Jin Jing, 确切地说是少林寺高深道。内功修炼法，少林是练什么武功？你达不到顶峰的时候，通过练习这一经经，他的功法进展的很快，啊，突飞猛进。一经经啊，流传到社会中间也有很多版本，少林寺它有少林寺的练法。内功心法很重要
，他是要靠师傅的口传身授。他的一口气就是说，从涌泉穴一下能提上到走这个督脉一下能达到这个督脉走完，看着是很简单，其实简单易学，但是练的时候是难练。什么人都练，通过了很长时间，甚至是十年、二十年，这种武术基础达到一定时候了，可能就是说把这一筋筋，慢慢的、一点一点的传给你。Practicing Yi Jin Jing requires some prior training. Xia Yan Ao selects six monks skilled at boxing and stick exercise to teach them. Yi Jin Jing, it is mainly from the body that can help. Through练内功，打了拳头有宏远之力，有穿透力。Jin Jing is designed to strengthen bones and muscles. It helps the person overcome physical and mental restrictions. Sha Yanao guides these six monks as they begin their basic training. This is not the only great kung fu skill found at the Shaolin Temple. The practitioner must make the muscles and bones strong enough to endure the heaviest blows. Forty-five-year-old Xia Yan Wu has been practicing the Golden Bell Shield and the Iron Shirt technique for over a decade. He is one of the few people who still practice it. 我有一个梦想，要把少林的一绝技重现人间。金钟罩铁布衫是少林武学里面的绝学，真正的金钟罩铁布衫是没有罩门的。就是任何身体的要害部位都能承受的重击。Xia Yan Wu has been receiving secret training while living for ten years in Wei Shan Temple on Mount Song. Today, another vital part of his body will face an extreme challenge. Yan Hou 这部位都是环状软骨嘛，一打都碎了。这个要比胳膊开个棍儿，腿上开个棍儿，难度大多了。The monks have to endure heavier and heavier blows to build up their endurance. In Sha Yan Wu's kung fu world, nothing is impossible. 任何一个部位。
，要想你把它强大起来，要有训练的阀门，这就靠自己去悟。When he gets tired during practice, Zhe Yan Wu goes to a back room to meditate and regain his inner strength. The throat is an especially vulnerable part of the body, requiring Xia Yan Wu to do some special and even torturous training. This exercise is in the Wu Xue Zhong, called Gui Xi Gong. I fell down, and I was able to breathe for a few minutes. 比如气，二十分钟没问题。内功到顶峰的时候，才能达到这种境界。Xia Yan Wu is also engaged in another secret training exercise that he never shows to others. After practicing in secret for 300 days, Xia Yan Wu finally succeeds. He's now ready for the challenge of 14 blows to his throat. I want to let everyone know 少林寺还有真功夫的存在，还有真正武术绝学的存在。The Shaolin Temple has been gathering natural medicinal herbs for many centuries to treat injuries. This is also something kept secret from the outside world. Xia Yan Lin hopes that the temple's herbal remedies can become popular outside the temple, but cultivating and harvesting the herbs is hard work. 八点的时候上山，一是路远，二是路不好走。到山上的时候大概就十点。Shaolin Temple has a plot of land on Mount Song, where monks cultivate herbs that only grow here. Xia Yanbai works on the plot all summer. 原本这个地方就旱，然后今年还特别旱，缺水，这是个大问题。好多药材他活不了啊。如果不能老是点两个桶啊，爬一千多米，爬到山上，然后一个浇水啊，太大了，浇不坏啊。所以呢，今年收成不好，也没办法。Xia Yan Lin must harvest the herbs at just the right time to ensure maximum potency. 一年有二十四节气，一天有有十二个时辰，因为它这个自然生态它有个规律，什么时候生什么，什么时候长什么，我们要取它最有效的时候，最有效的部位，还有采摘时间也更加重要啊，否则这个时间点过了以后，这个药性就没有。The end of the traditional Chinese calendar is the busiest time, 
when they prepare an ancient medicinal plaster. The key to the effectiveness of these preparations is in the timing where the herbs are grown and how they are prepared. The night is the longest at the winter solstice. The monks begin preparing the materials at 9 a.m. The fire's sudden flare-up reduces the herbs to ashes. Even the slightest error can lead to failure. Failure can occur in the blink of an eye. All their efforts last year were in vain. They have to start all over again the next year. The last month of the Chinese calendar has arrived and they again begin to make the plaster. In accordance with Shaolin temple tradition, the monks first pray to the Buddha of medicine. They begin preparing the herbs, following the required protocol. Eight hours later, the plaster finally takes shape. Spring has arrived. After he puts them through strict basic training, Xia Yanao begins to teach Yi Jin Jing to the six monks he selected.
the monks need to learn from a tutor to truly master these skills. They also need to work hard and show some insight. Xiao Yanao is not satisfied with the progress of these young monks. Times have changed, and the Shaolin Temple is keeping up with the changing times. Xia Yanbo was born in the 1980s. The things he learned are totally different from those of Xia Yanao. He uses different methods to train his body. Left hand first. Relaxing. Xia Yan Bo also teaches Kung Fu to foreigners, for which he studied English. Over 2,000 foreigners come to Shaolin Temple each year to learn Kung Fu. So we practice like slowly, but the four days is never stop, never stop here, stop here, no. It's The ultimate skills of the Shaolin Temple are not confined to within the temple walls. The young monks are staying in touch with the outside world through the internet. A Belgian director has invited Xia Yan Bo to perform in a dance performance with Kung Fu elements. He keeps up his usual training as he prepares for his performance abroad. He's rolling with the changes in this multifaceted world and realizing his dream on an even bigger stage. Yeah. Shaolin Kitty Kung Fu is another ultimate skill. Xia Sao Song has spent four quick years in the Shaolin Temple, but he has never had to really work hard at Kung Fu. The temple is just like an amusement park for him. Shaolin 
成怪与欢喜不凡的人生。Jia Sao Song also had to learn all the rules of the temple. At 5 a.m., he's still sleepy, but he has to get up and attend class with the others. Yeah,你要人家打到你脑袋了，架打，这样我就打不到用那劲儿，用劲，连拳连自己保护都保护不了自己，你连拳干嘛？眼神狠一点，眼神聚集在一起，起，嗯，记住了啊，再忘记的话
It's still foreign to Sha Sao Song, but in the future, he will learn about this new and colorful world. Sha Sao Song doesn't really know exactly what ultimate skills are, but to outsiders, he's already mastered them. No, it's okay. Uh, no. Focus. Yeah, yeah, I told okay. them. Thanks. 我是一名少林弟子，我叫释延资。一九八四年，我来到嵩山少林寺学习功夫。在一九九八年，我师父派我去伦敦创建英国少林文化中心。我这一次回中国是来参加一月三号的世界王者搏击争霸赛。46-year-old Sha Yan Zha has been teaching Shaolin Kung Fu in London for 17 years. Strength is greatly prized in the West, so he always tries to show the power of Shaolin Kung Fu in combat. Kung Fu is a symbol of Chinese culture, as well as the martial art of Shaolin Temple. In this championship, Xia Yanza embodies the glory and dreams of both Shaolin Temple and Kung Fu. I, as a Shaolin teacher, I have many brothers. 还有很多的学生，非常关注这个事情，说你赢的都好，你一旦输了，那么少林寺就输了。Shaolin Kung Fu, with its powerful moves, was created for combat. But times have changed, the rules have changed, and so has the nature of Kung Fu. Can it still be useful in combat? Shaolin After returning to Shaolin Temple, Xia Yanzhe refuses to see visitors and begins to practice in private. I was not able to get so many games. Now the opportunity has come. The games are open. I am more than 40 years old. I am not worried. I don't care how you look at me. This is my decision. This is my decision. Because of Xia Yanzhe's age, it's hard to predict how he will do. Some other disciples decide to put his skill to the test before the contest. He will only be able to compete if he defeats them.
苏少林的名声不是虚名啊，先祖们他们用他们的命换来了教训，然后呢传给我们说什么招管用，什么招不管用，那怎么证明？就是擂台，你要经常去跟别人去交锋，你要全身心的超越胜负，超越生死，超越名利的，去用你的行动去告诉大家。There was only one month to go before the championship meet. Xia Yanze is in Beijing for kickboxing training. He's facing a particular challenge. You 年轻的时候是靠抽抽牛都不怕虎，我跟你拼了。那这个年龄的时候，你不是靠拼的，你要靠。智慧，你要靠真正的武术里面的东西，你瞅得准，你一下就把它搞定了。His strong opponents, the strange rules, and the high expectations of kung fu fans and practitioners put a great deal of pressure on Xia Yanze. This championship is very important for him. Chinese kickboxers have already lost several matches before Xia Yanza enters the arena, which increases the pressure on him. Xia Yanza is not used to gloves and soon breaks a finger. He can no longer punch with full force, and his predicament is dire. The hands should be used for distraction, so you can attack with the legs. Xia Yanza adjusts his strategy in the second round, using his legs more. He quickly gains the advantage over his opponent, and things begin to look better.
要练武，别怕苦；要成功，莫放松。一切的功夫是由苦而来的。你要吃得了常人吃不了的苦，要几十年如一日，坚持不懈。这就是中国的功夫。It's now winter, and it's snowing. Xia Yanao begins to teach the six monks an even more important kung fu skill. Autumn and winter are the best times for meditation, because people tend to be more calm and collected then. Not all monks can meditate for 49 days, because they find it difficult to sit calmly for so long. Xia Yanlin is making a special kind of herbal tea for the monks who are meditating. The tea contains 30-some herbs and is good for calming the nerves and resisting the cold. They meditate to get rid of improper thoughts and purify their minds. The ultimate skills of the Shaolin Temple require unity of body and mind. A practitioner must stay focused to achieve the highest level of Kung Fu. When their bodies move, their hearts remain calm. The monks here spend their whole life practicing Kung Fu. Forty-nine days can go very quickly. But for these monks, the days are long and arduous. When they finally leave the meditation room, they look totally different. The Thousand Buddha Hall the most holy place in the Shaolin Temple is now open to them. Today, 
中医联发最重要就在呼吸，在以前的呼吸基础上再进一步啊，吸的时候啊一定要提档加缸啊，存着气向督脉慢慢上，上到命门向前推，呼气的时候向丹田撑，所以这个是丹田功。丹田从小腹部，从丹田要要转，气会转。你走，气不要停留，不要憋气，憋气就如纵火中。大家一定要体会，啊，不慌不忙，否则的话，气停着不动。Generations of high-level monks have practiced Kung Fu in the Thousand Buddha Hall. The 48 footprints in the hall show the power of Shaolin Kung Fu. They also show the magic power of time. After returning to the Shaolin Temple, Zhe Yanzhe sets up a new training ground on the mountainside, where he will teach the ultimate skills to young monks based on his experience. Zhe Yan Wu is practicing the skill of iron crotch, the highest level of golden bell shield and iron shirt technique. After Cao Song trained here for five years, his father came to take him home. Now, he often acts in TV dramas. His childhood will no longer be the same. In early 2015, the musical Dragon Dance features Sha Yan Bo demonstrating Shaolin Kung Fu for 12 minutes. Now that he has succeeded in the mission his tutor gave him, Sha Yan Ao comes to pay his respects to his predecessors. It takes time to master the ultimate skills, because miracles don't happen overnight. Mastering the ultimate skills requires insight and means making the impossible possible. 